Good morning. Good morning to this beautiful practice. Are you ready to dive in? We're going to drop into our hearts. We're going to connect to our purpose, connect to God, connect to our spiritual team, and heal our nervous system. We're going to do all of these beautiful things in this magical practice. God is my business plan. So drop in with me. We're going to drop in with sound, always with sound because this heals our nervous system. And when our nervous system feels strong, we can receive better. So that is why we always start with sound. Today, it feels like chanting. Mm, I love chanting. So let's dive in. Chanting is so powerful. I know I talk about it every time and I will say it in case you're new, that the sound of your voice is the most healing vibration for your body. The sound of your voice is your magic. So we're going to just do three seed syllables. Ah, om, I'm. Ah calls in our angels. Om and I'm connects the feminine and the masculine together. So let's push our hands together really nice and tight. No loosey gooseys. Come on. Real nice and tight. Thumb against the sternum, shoulders back. Feel your sit bones. Feel those sit bones. Take your notice all the way down through the spine of your body, connecting your spine down into the ground. Pulling your spine all the way up, connecting all the way through the crown chakra, feeling secure. Do you feel how secure you feel right now? This is your body. Your body is your place of security. So now you're going to breathe in all the way to your lower belly. Ah, oh my. And when you do that last chant, pull your belly button all the way back to your spine, pushing out all of the stagnant oxygen that has been stuck in your body through the night. We're going to clear it out. Ready? Deep breath in all the way to your lower belly, pushing those hands together, rooting yourself into the ground. Ah, oh my. Final one, breathing in. Ah, oh my. Get those hands moving. Shake those arms. Feels like we gotta get some. We gotta get some wiggles out. So I want you to lead up, and then you take your shoulders forward, and you're gonna just breathe into that back, and then breathe up and forward ah there we go moving the spine oh the spine is such a powerful place to move we get the energy flowing arms up and down all right so we're going to start with some oil oil is a beautiful way to help our minds drop into this practice so breathing in Breathing out, we're gonna breathe this beautiful light into the crown of your head. Allowing the light to clean your system, clean out any projections of your day, any worries, any, any thoughts, any fears, any apprehension, any stress, just cleared out, it has no place here. All of that is just stories in your mind. The day hasn't even happened. You don't even know how today is going to go. Let it go. Let it go. It's not here. It's not here. It's just all stories. Breathing in the light. Allowing the light to activate your cells, activate your gifts, activate your energy, activate your passion. Breathing in the light. Pouring it all the way down through your body, out through your toes, allowing it to move up and around your body, shielding it up with your toes to protect you, to infuse and insulate you with light. We're going to call in our team, our board of directors, our angels, our guides, those who are here to support us. <sighs> all right. 
I'm going to call in Florence Scovel Shin. She's one of my favorite teachers. I'm going to call in um, Joan of Arc feels really loud today. Mary Magdalene. Mm, I love Wayne Dyer. He's one of my favorite teachers. I'm going to call him in, uh, invite him to be a part of this. Always. Let's call in Napoleon Hill. I love Napoleon Hill. So these get to be uh, my board of directors today. Who do you want on your board of directors? Find them, call them in, in and through the divine light to help you uh, answer problems today, come up with solutions, open pathways, give you new ideas, uh, clear your schedule for the things that are the most important and support you in your purpose. So now we're just going to Really breathe in their support, feeling their presence. We're going to ask that light will touch our ears, that we will spiritually hear what needs to be heard. The light will touch our third eyes, we'll have access to all of our spiritual gifts. The light will cleanse our lips, that we speak only what needs to be spoken. Take a deep breath in. And out. So, today is going to be a simple day. Today is going to be a day of finding the most important thing that needs to happen today. And I know we do this quite often and that's okay because this is a powerful practice of staying in alignment, getting the most important things created and birthed into the world and not being distracted, not being distracted by suffering, not being distracted by fears, not being distracted by doubt or any other struggles that you have in your life, this is gonna keep you laser focused on the most important thing. And you may think you know what the most important thing is, but when you can invite God to show you, what happens is the most important thing drops in, and then we create real traction in our lives. So open your palms, pour this beautiful sunlight over your heart, softening it. We're going to ask God to show you. So you're going to say, God, show me the most important thing that needs to be done today. Put it in the palms of my hands. Let me see it, hear it, know it, feel it. No breathing in. And now that you've seen it, you're going to acknowledge it. You're going to write it down. This feels very important that you write it down so that you do not forget it. Because spiritual receivings leave us like the sunrise, right? It comes, you experience it, and then the sun moves, and then you miss, like, the whole thing is gone. If you receive something spiritually, you have to write it down or you're going to forget it. It's just the way it goes. Okay, now I want you to look at this and we're going to baptize that in success. Those are Florence's words and I love those words. We're gonna, it's like immersive, uh, fluidity, success. That's what we're doing on uh, the, the most important thing for the day. Now we're going to call in our angels to help this come to pass. So we're going to ask our angels to come in, sit with us and clear the pathway so that this number one most important thing occurs today that the time will show up that the support needed will show up that your you will take that open window because your angels are going to open this up so i want you to look at do you need 30 minutes for do this do you need two hours what do you need what is it what do you hear now whatever you heard you're going to ask your angels to give you that exact amount of time i need this exact amount of time to complete this most important thing today and you're going to ask that when that time shows up that you will see it know it hear it witness it and use the time for this thing because the time will show up you have to use your agency to act on that time and to have that time bless your number one most important thing it might be tempting for you to get on your phone and scroll during that time. It might be tempting for you to check emails during that window. Notice the window, 
and then use it for the number one most important thing. And you will watch massive traction in all of your creations, in your business, and your body's gonna feel so good because completion on the most important things is like, uh, it's like dessert for our nervous system. It feels so good. So now we're gonna take this number one thing and we're gonna wrap it in love. I just take my hand, wrap it. Place it on the altar and ask God to take care of it. And then I commit that I'm going to act. And then I know that I expect that God will act. So when I act, I expect that God will act. And this is where we meet. This is where we partner dance. This is where we are partners in creation. I act, God acts. This is what uh, Joan of Arc taught. And I love that. This is one of my favorite principles. So you're going to take a nice deep breath in. I want you to feel as though this number one thing has already been completed. It is done. It is done. Feel it in your body. <sighs> Feeling the ease that is here. The joy. We're going to activate faith inside of you today. Faith that this can be accomplished. Faith that you are a magnificent soul. That you are here to ripple light through the world. Feel that in your cells. Awakening a remembrance of who you are. Awakening a remembrance of the magic that you are. All right, my dear friend, I wrap you in so much love. May today be a day of wonder, of miracles, of peace, of energy, of joy. And I will see you tonight.